Hi everyone. Now I'm going to be well. I'm going to be answering a question I get asked every time I tie, like a classic style salmon fly. Now I usually answer obviously I type it in, but I'm going to actually show you this because I, I can, hopefully I can. Now this is a classic D style fly. Now on the body I used pig's wool. Now um, I get quite a few asked questions asked privately as well as uh, on YouTube. Uh, where did I get the pig's wool from? Now, I'll obviously I'll go through what I've got here just to give you an idea of how it all started. Now, when the Glasgow Angler Centre, when I was working there as well, uh, I bought, I used to buy this, this is, it says pig's wool orange, and you see there's red, blue, well, that's supposed to be orange, but they're, they're all slightly different, but it'd be green, and you see it's slightly lighter, slightly darker. Uh, blue again, there's blue here, it's really dark, and then obviously black. Now this is pig's wool, now this, this came from, I'll show you, this is a natural cut, a natural, this is wild boar or pig bristle. As we were buying the pig bristle, uh, basically the company would sell the pig's bristle separate from the actual, you wouldn't buy it with the skin on it. So you would get the pig bristle, like just this, there's a bit, there's a larger ones, in a packet with so many packet in a packet. Now that was sold by a company called Ellis Slater at the time. But obviously then he was left with all the under fur. Now, basically what it is, this is pig's wool. It's wild boar, pig's wool. And uh, he basically then, instead of throwing it away, which is quite right, put it into a packet, sold it as pig's wool. Exactly, that's what it is. So basically, and it was obviously you can see it's dyed in different colours because he'd taken it removed. He dyed it on the skin, removed the bristle, and then he packed it up or cut away the, the under fur and put it in packets. Now this is the natural. This is here you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, but it's the natural you see. It's quite dense. Or so you can, it's really good. Picks Pig's wool is really great to dub with, especially when you're tying big flies uh, and even small flies it's really good. Uh, but I wouldn't go too small, but anyway, and especially salmon flies, dub it on and it covers and you can easily get a taper with it. It's really good stuff. Very translucent as well, it, it, the water penetrates and the light gets through it. Now, a friend of mine, I didn't do this. Uh, basically we did a wee deal, he sent me some bleached. Now this is this wool here, just bleached. Now I have, as far as I believe bleaching uh, is basically you, you, the peroxide, same as we use for your hair, well I don't have any hair but anyway, if you want to bleach your hair this is sometimes how it comes out. Now they put the fur in a, say a sealed bag in with peroxide, mix it up inside it, and then when it bleaches back it goes to this, and that's what you get. Now when you get that, it's obviously much easier to get the brighter colours. If you look here, I've, I've dyed a light blue, I even dyed a dark blue for some reason, because uh, I wanted a nice clean colour, and there's three, there's four of the colours that I've actually done. And uh, the yellow is really nice, and the orange really bright. And sometimes what I'll do, because it's not that easy, I mean, and that, uh, I would puff that and then mix it in a packet of seals for. So it'd get more out of it, last a wee bit longer, and I will do that, like in this orange here. I added some uh, seals for, and it, it works a treat. So I, it's a pinch of that, packet of seals for, and it works. So it lasts longer, and it covers really quick, and... If, if, you'd, if you watched me actually tie this fly, the back of it is tied with the pig's wool and the front is tied with seal's fur. You need a lot of fur to get up there, tying a the fly, especially this size, this is the big one. Now, it's not the everybody ties classic salmon flies, it's just, it does, gives a great fly, looks great. Now, the colours you get from the raw, I mean, actually okay, I actually quite like it. Uh, it gives it a nice warmth to the fly. It's a, a kind of old looking colour as I would call it. It's not as bright as some of these. Though they were used, so the, the colours were bright many years ago as well. But anyway, there's a, if you buy the patches, now if, 
Foxy Tales was the next company I bought, obviously from, but they actually sold these patches. So I basically then remove once I've tend it, taken the bristle away, uh, I'll, I'll obviously remove the fur, the under fur. Then I blend it as usual I would do, blend it up with a bit of, I use my coffee grinder. And then I end up with some nice fur. Maybe all oh, different colours. I don't know. See, I just remove the, the bristle. So I'm starting to remove it on this one. This is the bigger patch. When you get a nice, this is, you know, it's dyed red. This is very, it's claret like. I mean, it's a really nice under fur. So and again, I mean, it's just using up everything you've got. So anyway, I thought this is how I, I got my. Uh, Pig's wool, and uh, eventually go out with some really bright colours. But as I say, I don't. I do this for my own pleasure. I don't tie a lot of flies uh, with the wool because it's, it's there's not much of it around. But uh, you probably didn't realise that you could actually get pig's wool from wild boar. And I thought I would, I would do the video, explain how I got it and why. So anyway, you end up with some lovely flies if you do tie them, and you're tying classic salmon flies. It does certainly, uh, it, it goes with them, and especially the bigger sizes, I get, I like it on them. So there you go, I hope you get some tips and in ideas from that, and you may regret throwing out, once you've taken the bristle off the patch that you bought, uh, throwing it away, because I did do it a couple of times myself at one time. So uh, just keep a hold of that, mix it up, put it into a packet, and then if you want to dye it, it does take the dye really well. Uh, you still have the odd bee fibre, you just pull them out as you're using them. And uh, they say it's, it's good stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, until next time.